Welcome to FingerprintDoorLocks.com. This video tutorial will teach you how to install and run the OneTouch IQ2 Audit Trail Kit system. Your Audit Trail Kit should have all these components you see right out of the box. Now the first step when using the Audit Trail system is to make sure you have the date and time set on your lock and that each user has their own three digit ID number. You can see this information in the manual. Second step is to make sure that the exe file that comes with the kit is installed on your computer. You insert the disk into your disk drive and this window will pop up. You'll see there's several files inside the disk. There's a couple of Word documents and uh, documents dealing with the USB driver. What you're going to be concerned with is the exe file. You find that file there. Double click. And this window will pop open. You hit there. You don't need to worry about any kind of code. Uh, just hit accept and it'll let you advance. Here you can put your name, the company name, if you want, or just leave it. Here's the, where there's a director. You can change the directory where the program will be installed. Here you can say which users can use this. You never know, so I'll, I put so all users. And that's pretty much all there is to it. Your open record system is now installed on your computer. I will show you where it's actually located. Go to start. You may get an icon in your start menu there, but if not, you'll find it under your programs. See the little green icon? You hit that. An open record will pop open. This is where the information will be stored. I'll go over that a little bit more in detail in a moment. Now it's time to transfer the data from the lock to the handheld kit. To do this, you plug in the blue jack into the base of the lock, turn the unit on, slide the cover up, and you'll notice the green light starts to flash. The green light is indicative of the information being transferred from the lock itself to the handheld unit. Now, the information is not taken off the lock permanently. Essentially what's happening here is a copy of the event history or event logs are being transferred. Uh, a copy was being transferred from the lock to the handheld unit. The unit will hold 60 event logs and after 60 the oldest one gets erased. Soon you'll hear a beep which will indicate that the information is transferred. Once the information has been transferred to the handheld unit, it's time for the next step. Transferring data from the lock to your PC or laptop. Now you switch the cables. You use a silver cable that ends with a USB plug on one end. And you plug that into your USB port. Turn on your unit. And then you will open the program we just installed. You go to your start. You find the open record program. on the icon and launch that. You'll notice we have that same page as before. Now at least on my computer I need to use COM4. It may be different on yours but I would try COM4 first. Click there. You'll click this again just testing to make sure you have your cables connected. Now you'll notice there that the there's a scroll bar or a status bar. That means the information is being transferred. And here I'll show you what it looks like on the handheld unit. The information is now being transferred. As, as you can tell by the green flashing lights and the lights on the cable, information is being transferred from the handheld unit to your computer. This will take a little while and it will also indicate with a beep when it is finished. So you, once you hear the beep, you'll get this window, and you'll see that your event history information is now visible. All the records are there. Go to File, and from File, you have the option of saving the information as a text file or an Excel file. It shows text, and essentially, it'll allow you to store the information anywhere you want on your computer. 
and you are all finished. You can give this information to the HR or payroll. If you have any questions, you can contact us at fingerprintdoorlocks.com. You can send us a quick email, or you can contact us at area code 513-239-6322, extension 320.